evening, everyone. It is such a blessing to be able to be here with all of you this evening. Thank you for making the time to come to break bread together, enjoy fellowship, and to think about the ways that God is using all of us uh, in the life of Klein ISD. I think it's a beautiful thing when our schools and our churches and our homes work together for our kids. And so I just wanted to start this evening by saying thank you, thank you, thank you for the ways that you all have already committed uh, to be part of God's work in Klein ISD, uh, to mentor, to provide your time and your talent and your treasure, all to benefit not only the students in Klein ISD, uh, but the 7,000 plus employees that we have here in Klein ISD. So uh, we had to put an actual scrolling list here, which I absolutely think is the best pro problem in the world, because there's so many of you who are giving of yourselves uh, in Klein ISD, and it just makes a huge difference in the life of our kids. But I wanted to tell you a story tonight of how I saw your impact in action just last week in one of our schools. One of my favorite things to do is to spend time on campuses. I had a mentor who told me, when you become superintendent, never lose a direct line of sight to the classroom. And that there's going to be lots of people who want to tell you what's happening in classrooms, but you make sure you go and see for yourself. And so I swung by a couple of schools last week, and one of them was Island Elementary. And as Sherry mentioned, uh, that first picture where my hair is brown and I look very young, uh, that was before, obviously, I was a superintendent. That, that has definitely changed my appearance, especially over the last couple of years. Uh, but I'm so fortunate that I started as a first-year teacher in Klein ISD. And one of the reasons I succeeded as a first-year teacher in Klein ISD is because by God's grace, a woman named Lynn Dozier, who taught at Klein Forest High School, uh, who's an absolute legend in our Klein family, somehow she became my mentor. And I say somehow, it's truly a divine appointment, because at that time, we didn't have mentoring programs in the school district. So I have no idea how we got connected other than to say, thank you, Lord. And Lynn Dozier, who I'm hugging in the picture uh, next to my, my baby picture, uh, baby teacher picture, uh, she absolutely took me under her wing, and I will say, in large part, she's the reason that I am standing here today. Well, when Lynn decided to retire, she said, I'm not going to give up my work in the schools. This is God's calling on my life. And so she decided that her church, she was going to start a mentoring program for kids at Island Elementary. And so last week, um, I had the privilege of being at Island Elementary. And a couple years ago, uh, the great Lynn Dozier went to go be with our Lord in heaven. Uh, but when I walked through the library at Island Elementary last week, this is what I saw. I saw Lynn's Klein family legacy and her impact and the way that she mobilized her church family at work still today in the libraries of Island Elementary. And I walked in, and all of these folks from St. Dunstan's were there, and they were sitting alongside kids in our library, and they were reading books and asking them about their life, and they were pouring themselves out to make the children at Island Elementary better. And I left that day with my heart so full, thinking, gosh, what a great thing it is when we get up in the morning and we ask God to use us, and then we let him use us, and then other people's lives are blessed because of that. And so I wanted to share that story of the impact that I see uh, from a woman who is in heaven now, and I know she's smiling down in heaven when she sees those folks come to Island Elementary, but that's the impact that I'm positive all of you are having in different ways across Klein ISD every day. So I say thank you for that.